Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are gonna be making a super delicious chicken drumsticks with a lemon and herb butter sauce. So first things first, you wanna get your oven preheated to 375. And then we are going to heat a large skillet, doesn't have to be cast iron, to medium high heat and add in two tablespoons of butter. While the butter is melting, we are going to pat our chicken drumsticks dry. We don't nearly eat enough of these. These are so delicious. We're just gonna do a quick season of salt and pepper on all of these. So once your butter's melted, we are gonna pop in the chicken drumsticks and we're gonna sear these for about three to four minutes on each side. And then once you get them in with the seasoned side down, you can season the other side. So we wanna get that skin nice and crispy right now. So let's give these a flip, see how they're doing. Oh yeah. You don't wanna overcrowd them either, cause that'll prevent them from getting crispy. So you're looking for the crispy skin, as I said. So once you get, get the skin nice and browned and you like what you see, we're gonna pop this in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes and let these drumsticks cook through. While the drumsticks are in the oven, we're gonna prep some of the stuff we need for our lemon and herb butter sauce. As far as the herbs, we're gonna be using some fresh thyme and some fresh rosemary. You can use dried if that's all you have at home, but the combination of these two really make a great delicious sauce. We're gonna also use half a white onion. So you can do diced, you can do sliced, whatever you want. And then let's pull out some rosemary and thyme. I always struggle taking the, like the rosemary and the thyme off the leaves. Is there like a sure way to do it really well like that or something and it works really well? Yeah. Matt always adds rosemary to his meats and I'm all about the time. We need to grow a garden in the back. The drumsticks have come out of the oven and they are looking good. We put them in for 20 minutes. We wanted to make sure they were thoroughly cooked. So right now I'm gonna pull these out and just set them aside on a plate while we make our lemon and herb butter sauce. So we're gonna heat the pan to medium low heat and we're just gonna use the juices already in there to saute these onions. So just add your chopped onion, two to three minutes, let these get a little tender, fragrant. And then to deglaze the pan, we are gonna be adding a cup of wine and the alcohol will cook off as the sauce reduces, but if you don't wanna use wine or you don't have any, you can also just use additional chicken broth. So our onions are tender, they're slightly browned, so we're gonna add in our wine. And this is deglazing the pan, so make sure you scrape up any brown bits that were left over from the chicken. That'll ensure we get all the flavor. So we're also gonna add in one cup of broth. And now we're just gonna let this reduce. So once the liquids have reduced to your liking, we are going to add in our fresh lemon and the fresh herbs. So we're gonna do juice of an entire lemon. And then our fresh thyme and rosemary. So we'll give that a couple minutes before we add in our last ingredient and then finally the chicken. So now the last thing we're gonna do is remove our skillet from the heat. So I just turned the heat off and we have three tablespoons of cold butter here that we are going to whisk in to the mixture. Mix it until it melts in. So that is looking good. Now all that's left to do is add our chicken thighs back in and give this a taste. And then when you are serving it, you wanna make sure everyone gets a nice heaping portion of this delicious butter sauce. So let's give this a try. Mmm. So drumsticks in the oven are super tender. The lemon really comes through. I can get the fresh thyme and rosemary. This is a delicious, super easy recipe to make any night of the week, quick. And you can use any meat you want. You don't have to use drumsticks, you can use thighs, you can use breast. So definitely make this and let us know what you think. In the description below is the recipe link with all the ingredients and exactly how to make this recipe. Thanks for joining.